over to Lai Viracat. Um, again, I'm also humbled to be amongst the scholars um, and, and those who are far in advance of, of knowledge and understanding of Islamic ethics. And I suppose I've been asked here because I'm also uh, dealing with arts or, in fact, um, music was probably my forte. And so I'm here, I suppose, to represent someone who's done it and who's still doing it. Um, one of the things about, I think, is the description I've been listening to all the uh, previous speakers and my, my fellow artists. And, you know, one of the things is there's always a thread which seems to continue amongst artists. And we all understand each other, kind of. And, and so a lot of things were said, <laughs> which I don't have to say anymore, because they were, they were said. Uh, that's great. So I can skip that. At the same time, there are some things which I, I perceived, and it's in a way, it's something that happens with an artist. It's a surprise. You don't quite know what's going to happen next. And that's not the scholarly view, but actually scholars do take a, a road towards they don't know where, but it's a different kind of road. Artists do the same. When we sit down sometimes, whether it's with a brush or a guitar or a pen or whatever, we're not quite sure what's going to strike us. And so we get ourselves into a position of being able to receive something which is almost beyond us. But when we talk about ethics, we can't talk like that because we have to be good. We have to try to be good of all the philosophers in the world. That's the, that's the objective. I remember reading once, whether it was, it was a Greek philosopher, whether it was uh, Homer, whatever it was, when he was asked the question, what is the ideal good? That's a big question. And he was befogged. He didn't know. The Prophet said it. And actually, Sheikh Yusuf Karadawi said it. And he gave us a picture. He said, faith is like a tree. And the topmost branch is la ilaha illallah. And the, the, some of the lowest branch, or the lowest branch, is to remove something from the way of the people that it may be an obstacle for them. And, faith, and shyness is part of faith. Look at that. that. There are the ethics. And the Prophet ﷺ gave a symbol of a tree. So when we, look, when we all heard that word tree, we all had a picture, you see, in our mind, what that tree looks like. You got a different one, you got, but we're kind of like on the same page. We're all on the same page. Art and music can, in some sense, bring us to the same page, bring us to a common understanding. Now, one of the things that happened, used to happen, I'm sort of glad that it did. This used to happen. It used to be, a, maybe I'd go to a disco in the old days. I'm not saying I went to the disco last week, by the way, Sheikh, so don't worry. But, um, so I'll go to the disco, and there's all these people dancing, dancing, dancing. And then my song would come on, and people would sit down. People would sit down. And I got upset about that a little bit. I thought, why can't they dance to my music? <laughs> but it's, it was a good thing. It was a good thing. It was something that was meant to be. Everybody carries their destiny. We have to work it out, and we have to try and improve, and we have to try whatever we can do, whether it's in art or wherever we are, and whatever profession or skill. We must try to improve, and that is our task. 
And so the Prophet ﷺ also said, I mentioned, itqan, itqan, which is do it to the best of your ability. If you are slaughtering, be humane. Be humane. And so the artist has a very big responsibility to be a conduit for emotions, as was, as was mentioned. Um, also to pick up on certain things which may not have been mentioned before. I wrote a song once called Father and Son. I thought, well, actually I was, I was writing about a revolutioner. Uh, it was the Russian Revolution at that time. I, mean, well, I wasn't there at that time. I mean, when I was writing, it was about the Russian Revolution. And there was a young son who wanted to join the revolution and the father wanted to stay on the land, on the farm, and be comfortable. When I wrote that song, I didn't realize how that song was going to affect people. But so many people have come and said, that song has affected you know, my life. So that's a very big privilege that we have as artists, to be in that position, to affect people's lives. If we are to take the root of the ethics, which we must, then we, are, we have to be doubly responsible. I gave up music at one time because I heard these voices, so it's haram, it's haram. Actually, I must tell you, I, I was in uh, Medina, it was my first Umrah, and I was coming out of the mosque and I met this uh, Jamaican Muslim. And I said, Salaam alaykum, wa alaykum salam. Hey, you know, he saw I was a new Muslim, something. And then he said, uh, what do you do? I said, I'm a musician. He thought, that's haram. <laughs> and that man was Abu Amina Bilal Phillips. <laughs> He's a lovely man, we love him. But, you know, there are those who tell, tell you seriously and very, very honestly and sincerely, be careful what you are doing. And it's true. We do have to be careful. At the same time, if we are not in that field, and the field is being run by all the shayateen, then we have to do something. We have to do something. And whether it's bravery or stupidity, we have to do something. Um, now, I had another speech which was all prepared, <laughs> which I'm sort of, I've almost given, because there we are. The whole point is that we surprise ourselves sometimes, and, I hope, inshallah, that some of this will be uh, useful. Uh, but one of the things, as we said before, um, what, what we heard today was, 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 was eye-opening about the subject of ethics. I, I really do commend Brother Tariq for, for establishing this institute, because this subject is the subject. When we come to legislation, that's a heavy word. That's a very heavy word, because that means something, you know, is going to tell you to do it. And if you don't do it, then we're going to lock you up, we're going to do something else to you. But, you know, it's a, it's a kind of dangerous word, legislation. But it's important. But this subject of ethics, as I was listening to it, it was, again, becoming theoretical, you know? And one of the first things <laughs> our brother Ahmed Mustafa said when we sat down together, he said, we are practitioners. We are practitioners. That's what we do. We kind of do things. And so bringing this subject of ethics, you know, in contact with doing it, we have the example. The Prophet ﷺ was the Quran walking. He was everything to describe the right way, the good. But he's not here now in this world right now. Um, 
So where is Islam? And who is going to show this picture of Islam to the people? Where's the Muslims? Where's the Muslim media? I know we have Muslim media. But again, a lot of it is concentrating so much on the negative. I, I'm not going to go into that debate right now. But we do need, we do need to be in this field. And so, when we saw the list of corrupt, <laughs> corrupt countries or the ones who were not corrupt, I do if you were here in the morning, there was a whole list of countries uh, which, which uh, was, was basically a research on how corrupt or how not corrupt a country was. And so we've got Finland, you know. <laughs> Who's ever been to Finland? Anyway, maybe that's why they're not so corrupt. People, not many people go there. But anyway, no, of course, people go there. But, um, you know, we saw, we saw Qatar was down there. Well, it was on there. Let's say it was on there. It was down there, but it was on there. Great. But that was the only country we saw. Well, that's sending a definite message. A big message. And it's real. So we have a problem. And I really pray and I hope that, inshallah, our brother Tariq Ramadan and his legislation and ethics will be able to join the theories of goodness and everything that we have inherited as Muslims in the Quran and in the Sunnah to reality to be able to shine this light again to the world with all the ethics of goodness and mercy that we have within us. May Allah guide us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.